Hey everyone, it's Chris from Smithy Fitness. Welcome back. So I've decided to do a fast. I'm feeling um, just a little chunky and I've got some sore, I'm, I'm sore in my hip, which is, has been uh, a little bit uh, chronic. And I'm sore in my shoulders. Um, I competed about 10 days ago and after the uh, competition, I was really up and had a, a pretty good week of training last week, except till Saturday. And as I've noticed this happened before, is there's a little bit of a letdown after competition. My body feels sore and tired, and my brain is a little bit uh, not very enthusiastic. So I'm gonna take this period of time to, uh, to not do any official uh, Olympic weightlifting training, but instead do some light training and do an 84 hour fast. So I'll document what happens to the body as we go through the fast. So anyway, stage one, it is, May 3rd, uh, 2023, it's about 10 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. I'm going to uh, be, a, well, right now I'm about 15 hours into the fast. If you can even call 15 hours a fast, it's just sleep and haven't eaten yet this morning. Um, I'll weigh in so we can have a look at uh, what happens to my weight. I'll make sure I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt when I weigh in uh, during updates. So you can see I'm 80.6 uh, kilos. We'll do a, a pound uh, equivalent, but um, hopefully I, or I expect I'll lose two or three kilos between now and then. And uh, let's see what happens. It takes some discipline to do it fast. It's not hard. The whole key, I've done lots in the past. The whole key is to stay busy, uh, have books, movies, sporting events you're watching, go out for walks. Um, kind of keep yourself occupied. Okay, well here we are. I'm at about the 48 hour mark. Um, but before I get into how I'm feeling and what it's been like the last two days, I just want to go through a few of the basics of fasting and why it's so great. So, why prolonged fast? Um, why should you do it? And the real reason is that you need to write, uh, rest your digestive system from time to time. Now think about it, we're eating all the time and it's very energy consuming for your body to break down the food and throw it out into the bloodstream, into the muscles and so forth. And the body, the way we are now as a modern society is we're eating regularly, if not all the time, <laughs> or pretty much all the time. And back when we were forming as a, as a species, you know, 100,000 years ago and all the way up until, you know, relatively recently, you know, we were hunting and we'd have feasts and then we'd be starving as we were searching for our next food, for our next uh, animal that we can, uh, we can catch and eat. And so, there, you know, starving is a part of the human experience. And because of that, the body has made tremendous applications of this, uh, of being in a starved situation to not only uh, survive through it, but also to thrive through it. So when we're fasting, we're allowing the, the energy, the body's energy that is normally taken up by digesting, all that energy is freed up to heal the body. It heals the various parts of us that are, that are sick, um, the cells that are mutating in a, in a bad sense, um, the toxicness that builds up in the body. When you fast, it gives the, the body a chance, and the body is so smart. It gives it a chance to sweep out all the garbage. And the longer you can fast, the better the magic is, you know, up to a point. So let's talk about it. Um, also, of course, you're able to lose fat. And that's, <laughs> you know, that's fantastic in itself. So here we are. I'm doing an 84-hour fast. So I've drawn this line that starts at zero hours. And we go to 84. And I just want to point out some of the things that happen during... A fasted state according to a whole bunch of doctors that I've listened to okay so again I'm just a guy on the internet I've learned a few things I've experienced a few things in my own body and I'm just gonna pass it on to you as best I can just as a layman at about the 18 hour mark uh, growth hormone starts to secrete 18 hour of fasting so if you if you keep eating every six hours or 10 hours, you don't get the secretion. Once you get to 18, it secretes, and as the time goes on, it secretes more 
and more and more. So the longer you can fast, um, the greater the volume of growth hormone that's going through the system. And of course, growth hormone is great for building muscle, um, for building brain muscle as well. It's great for your whole body, anti-aging, whatnot. So we want to have growth hormone and that's fantastic. As you get to about the 24 hour mark, and it might be a little longer, everybody's a little different, but something called autophagy kicks in. And autophagy is where I was talking about the body being able to uh, sweep aside all the, the bad cells, the uh, uh, mutated cells, the toxic cells, to just to get it out of the system, get it into the bloodstream and urinate it out or get it out through some other method. So autophagy is fantastic. It takes a while to kick in. I'm gonna say at least 24 hours. Um, as we go a little further along to about 36 hours, for most of us, ketosis will kick in. Now, ketosis means that your body starts to burn fat for energy. Prior to ketosis kicking in, you're burning sugars, glycogen. Um, so we need to get the glycogen out of the system before we hit ketosis. Now, if you're a low carber, or a carnivore like me, you're gonna spend most of your time in ketosis anyway. Um, but I'm not perfect. I mean, yes, I do eat a lot of meat and I eat very little carb, but I do have some dark chocolate, I do have some alcohol. Um, so I need the time as well. Maybe for me, ketosis kicks in at 24 or even 18, but let's call it 36 hours. So at this point, you start to be fat burning because you've, uh, depleted all the glycosis, it's uh, all the sugars that are in the system. Now you're under burning fat and now you're starting to lean out uh, in the most advantageous way possible. So ketosis is great. Um, once you're there, uh, together with autophagy, you're, you're building brain, uh, brain cells, um, your inflammation is going down, and again, those toxic cells are being cleaned up. Now we get to 48 hours, which is where I am right now. Your body will start to create stem cells. And stem cells are kind of magical. They will do many things, including shrink tumors. Your mitochondria goes up. All of the systems of the body become more and more efficient, better healed. As I mentioned in my opening comments, I've got a sore shoulder. Actually, it's this one right here. And I've got a sore hip. Um, it's great. I feel like I'm making progress. They're feeling better already. I'm stretching and, uh, I think that, uh, I think it's kicking in, you know, from here to here. Let's see what happens with me. Cause I think this next 38 hours or whatever it is, 36 hours is going to be kind of magical. Um, as far as the benefits to, uh, both the health issues that, uh, you know, the injuries, it's not health issues, I'm healthy as anything, but the injuries that I've accumulated through a lot of lifting, a lot of heavy lifting, um, as well as we get, as we get moving along, you might be worrying about losing muscle mass because you haven't eaten anything, but when you're fasting, it's very muscle sparing. You're not going to lose much muscle. Now, maybe after 72 hours, uh, the body's getting hungry. So it's searching for, for ways to get food. It may, it may bite into your muscle a little bit, but nothing that you can't make up within a few days of training again. So this part from here to here, I think is gonna be great. Now, to go from zero to 48 hours in a fast, it's really is, um, it's not that hard, but food is enjoyable. You're watching a hockey game, I'm watching the game tonight, uh, go Leafs go. Uh, It'd be nice to have a drink and uh, maybe snack a little bit. Uh, my, my son is going out to a bar to watch it with his friends. No doubt they'll have burgers, fries, and beers. Great, they should do it. I can't do it. I'm going to sit here and have no food. Um, but it's worth it. There's a lot of reward that you get over here. The rewards are fantastic, especially as you're older and things are breaking down a little bit. Maybe your skin isn't as bright as it should be. Fasting will bring back your skin for sure. So there's so many advantages to it. At 48 hours, I'm doing great. Uh, I know it's it's like 7 p.m. right now. The next four hours are the toughest for me, the, the evening hours where I want a snack. There's not a lot 
going on. Um, it's a full day, the stomach's rumbling a little bit, but uh, it's four hours, then you go to sleep, wake up one more day, and then I'm almost there. So here it is, I'll talk to you as we get to 72, and then I'll talk to you again at the 84. And uh, fasting, give it a try, it's not that hard. Start with a 24 hour, go to 36, and uh, you'll see some real benefits. Okay, here we are, it's hour 71. I've pretty much completed three days. I've got another 13 hours to go to finish this off. Um, the last two days I've been drinking um, just water. Now, in my life I would, I would drink black coffee, and black coffee is fine for a fast, but I've um, declined the coffee. I just wanted to you know, really clean myself out. Um, and it's been okay. I miss coffee a bit, I miss food a bit, not too bad. Um, but um, when I've been drinking water the last two days, I've been adding some salt in it. Um, the risk with a long fast is that you start to um, lose your electrolytes and you can start to feel a little bit crappy. So I'm just having like a half teaspoon twice a day of the pink salt, the Himalayan salt, and the potassium chloride, which really is another type of salt. So that's it. I have not had carbonated. You can have certainly carbonated water, um, no flavored water, um, and you can have teas. But uh, I've been, you know, quite strict. I haven't made a big deal of it in my head. I've just been kind of going about my thing and just um, trying not to think about food. Now it's Friday night. Yes, it'd be nice to uh, to eat. But um, I know right now the stem cells are just ramped up in my body. I'm dropping fat. I'm, I'm healing, I feel much better, my hip feels better. Now the, the key will be, you know, when I start lifting again, how does it feel into a full squat, how does that feel? But I feel really good. Um, my shoulder is loosening, still a little tightness, but it's, it's definitely loosening, so the healing properties is what I'm after, and uh, I'm feeling good. Anyway, tomorrow will be the end of it. Um, I'll uh, film my first meal, which will, I'll have at 8 a.m. Uh, it'll be a small meal and then followed by a bigger meal at 9, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. All right, 84 hours, guys. It's 8, 10 a.m. I've done it. I've gone three and a half days with no food, just water. Let's do a weigh-in and see what I'm at. I was 80.6 kilos when I weighed in the first day, and I'm 78.5, so 2.1 kilos down, that's about four and a half pounds, that's pretty good. I mean, I doubt if I've lost any muscle through all that, I'm definitely thinner and feel better through the middle. My injuries are a little bit better, I feel great. But I'm hungry, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to a feast. Now when you break a fast, uh, especially if it's been 72 hours or more, even 48 hours or more, your stomach has shrunk and you can't just go and pig out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have four eggs right now and then I'm gonna wait an hour and then I'm gonna have a steak and a few more eggs. So uh, it's gonna be a party. I'm gonna have some uh, coffee, it's already brewed, it's waiting for me. So it's been a great success. I hope you got something out of this video. I'm gonna show you my first bite. Okay, first bite in 84 hours. Oh! Oh, so good. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.